G'day guys and welcome to another section of my Cisco practice exam questions. Uh, today I'll be doing the iOS boot process and version information. Uh, just before I get stuck into it, uh, feel free to check the link in the description below. It's got a real more in-depth uh, iOS book uh, which you can find on Amazon. I'll get a commission for it if you guys decide to go through that link and we'd be muchly appreciate it if you did. So I'll get stuck into today's lesson. So 151, what is the purpose of the post? Locate the iOS in flash memory, locate the iOS in ROM, verify that hardware is functioning or apply the start configuration. So if you know your PC stuff, basic PC stuff, generally it's a test to see if it powers on properly. So for this one, the answer is C. Verify that the hardware is functioning. So it essentially goes through a process there to check if everything's all working correctly. 152, you have booted your, rebooted your Cisco switch and it displays an amber light on the system LED during post. What does this indicate? Failure during post, system booted without fault, successful post, failed communication with router. Green is good, red's bad, amber's in the middle, so it's certainly not good. Um, Going through these ones, failure, successful, it's certainly not successful. Uh, it certainly didn't boot without fault, otherwise it would be green or be normal. Failed communication with the router, maybe, but the answer on this one is A, a failure during post. 153, what happens when a router starts up and it does not have a start configuration file? We had this question in the last video. You can check out that video as well to um, sort of see similar questions to this one. The router prompts for a password. The router prompts for an internet setup mode. The router applies a default configuration or it goes into global configuration mode. So if we remember from last time, with uh, if there's no setup or if there's no startup configuration uh, file, then it has to basically set one up for you. So the answer is B. The router prompts to enter setup mode. So there's a few instances in which in which case that happens. So 154, which of the following best describes Roman? A limited operating system used to troubleshoot, storage area for the start configuration, store Cisco iOS storage area to running configuration. Uh, I guess this one's more of a memory one. It's sort of uh, not too straightforward, but it's uh, the answer is A, a limited operating system used to troubleshoot startup and password recovery. Doesn't need too much explanation. That one is simply what it is. One of those questions that just has the answer to it. Which of the following best identifies the boot order of a Cisco device? Uh, could go through all of those, but you want to basically look from look from it in a logical sense. You want to think, okay, I don't think a bootstrap would happen first, so that would take out two of those answers immediately. So then it's a matter of which one's right out of the last two. So you got post. Apply start configuration and running config, bootstrap loads iOS from flash, or you got post bootstrap loads iOS from flash, apply start configuration to running config. Now, if you look at that, you would probably say bootstrap comes before the actual start configuration, so that gives the answer to us as D. So, first of all, we have the post, then the bootstrap comes from the iOS from flash, and then the start configuration applies to the running configuration. 156, what keystroke is used to access the Roman prompt in order to bypass the password? And this one, sort of before, is a little trick you can use, and that one's control break to access uh, that segment, the Roman. 157, using this output of the show version command, and it's a very handy command, keep that in mind for the next few questions. How many fast ethernet ports exist on the router? So if we have a look here, it basically tells us right here we've got two fast ethernet interfaces there, we've got four serial network interfaces, so the, the question's asking for fast ethernet, and the answer's right there, two. So two would be the answer. Got another little output using the output below. What version of the Cisco iOS is running? 2800, 12.4, 15, or T1? There is T1. That's T1. Okay, so two, the 2800 would obviously be the model, I believe, would be the model. Can't 100% verify that, but 15, uh, that, oh yeah, that's in brackets there. Quite simply, this is simply a matter of knowing and reading the knowing what the, uh, I guess, output looks like and what represents what. 
The answer for this one is right there, version 12.4. So the answer is B, 12.4. 159, your manager is wondering how many fast Ethernet ports are on the router. What command would you use to find that out? I would get the manager to go to the router and have a look. <laughs> uh, but looking at it from a command perspective, we've got show help, show modules, fast, show fast Ethernet, and show version. The show version command is very, very helpful. It has a lot of basic uh, information. Could be the one, fast Ethernet is a command. Help doesn't exact, help is more so a troubleshooting guide, so show version is the answer. 160, you wish to verify the version of the Cisco iOS you are running. What command would you use? Show iOS, show memory, show version, or show software. Once again, show version is the answer. 161, you wish to view the current value of the configuration register. What command would you use? I'll give you guys a chance to guess this. Just take a moment, have a bit of a think. Show red, show version, show flash, show for config. Show version it is. Wouldn't have expected that one. So that's all for today. Thanks very much for watching, guys. i um, just got my website down there in the bottom if you want to see plenty more videos, podcasts, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, so thanks very much. I've put that link in the description below for uh, that really awesome Cisco textbook that I'd highly recommend. Uh, so that one's just an affiliate link. I'll get a bit of a commission for it if you guys go through that link. I'd much appreciate it if you did and keep, keep plenty of good content up, up and happening for myself. And uh, feel free to like the video, share it around and subscribe as well. It'll be awesome. Thanks for hanging around, guys. I'll see you on the next video.